Now using your brakes to climb on your e-mountain bike. Now that sounds pretty weird if you ask me, but I can assure you it's an invaluable skill to get you up those techiest climbs. So today you're taking a look at using your brakes to climb uphill on your e-bike. What on earth am I on about by using your brakes to climb a hill? Surely that would slow you down and make you not get up the hill, right? Well, you're wrong. What it does is it regulates the power coming from the motor and the battery to the back wheel. You can literally monitor it, kind of like a clutch on a, on a motorcycle. You can pull it in when you don't need the power, then still pedal, then let the brake go when you've got the grip and you're in a position to deliver all that power from the motor. It really is a cool technique. So let's take a look how you're gonna use your brakes to climb. Right, first up, you need to find a nice flat area. You need to engage quite an easy gear, engage turbo or boost mode. Next up, hold your brakes, but keep cranking through the pedals. You're gonna feel that there's a lot of energy stored up in there. Then it's just a case of letting that brake go and feeling the surge of power. Then we're gonna look at applying it onto the trail. Now once you master that technique on the flat, it's time to take it to the trail. Now I've replicated an uphill switchback turn by using this slab and the edge of this bush. So replicating an uphill switchback turn. Now as a rider, you're probably coming to this on boost mode. Once your front wheel gets here, it's probably gonna wheelie or maybe wheel spin and cause you to put your feet down. Now with the back brake technique, you're gonna store that power and let it in dribs and drabs by regulating your back brake and distributing that power nice and smoothly till you're online, till you've found grip, just keeping that cadence on. And once you're in the right place, it's time to let that power surge you out of the move. Right, so let's attempt this bit of trail. I'm gonna go full death grip. I've got full grip on the handlebars, no fingers on the brakes. And I'm gonna try and pedal my way around this section without using any of the back brake technique. Let's see what we get on. Okay, so we're coming in boost mode. We're gonna keep that cadence on. As I hit that, oh my God, the power just is uncontrollable on those steep turns. As soon as I hit that little lip, the front wheel lifted, I wasn't able to stay under control. Right, same section. This is using the brakes to distribute that power from the motor. I'm gonna be dragging them the whole way on. I'm gonna tell you when I've got the brakes on and when I'm releasing them. Let's give it a go. Right, so the brakes, I'm cadence on. Back brake is on now. So I've got the cadence, but I've not limited this power. Here, let the brake go. Look how clean that is. So that's the uphill switchbacks now. Now a nice way you can replicate that stuff is just by simply finding a turn like that at your local trail center or practicing it out the front of your house with a cone out in the road, something like that. Just a marker, just get used to regulating that power. Now another use is these big technical climbs like I'm just about to encounter. So let's take a look further up this climb, see what we can find to use a brake technique. Now technical trail riding is definitely where the back brake clutch techniques comes into its element. This tech section here, it's gonna be really hard without using that back brake skills. On the run into this step up, I've got an off camber section where grip is definitely gonna be compromised. Then I've gotta get all that power down to lift myself up onto this slab whilst committing to a turn as well. So it is super technical. Then we've got an S out of it, again on off camber. Slippy, well not slippy, it's just quite dusty, so grip is quite kind of compromised, as is front wheel lift is gonna be a problem too. So you really need to control that power whilst delivering it all to the back wheel. Let's take a run through this section. I'm gonna to talk to you when I'm using the brake and when I'm applying full power and getting that in on the trail, finding that grip, stopping that front wheel lift. Right, so I've analyzed the trail in front of me. What I've done is I've engaged boost mode. I've got my easiest gear and I've looked at the line. I can see the first bit is off camber, but where I'm gonna need a big boost of power is to get up onto that step and provide the turn and the exit. So that is a key part of the move. So that is where I'm gonna need a lot of power and hopefully a lot of grip. So let's give it a go. So I'm into this off camber section. I've lifted pedals, so I'm not gonna get a pedal strike. Back brakes on. Power is down, front wheel's lifted. I'm dragging the back brake here to stop myself going wide and wait until I get a good line, get on the power and hit the next part of the trail. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so that's two skills nailed using that back brake technique. Now, where else can you use that out on the trail? Well, things like this, a long technical climb. When you get to areas such as this, you can use your brakes just to slow down that a little bit, give your body itself a rest and give your mind a rest too and get that piece ready of the jigsaw that's gonna come up. So you're looking at here, you're gonna find your line, where the grip is, where pedal strikes could happen, and looking at all that process in it whilst braking and analyzing all this. So you're gonna try and find a line and get to the top as smoothly as possible. And by using your brakes, you slowed that whole process down. Right, so this has been a pretty nasty tech climb. I'm feeling pretty worn out already, to be honest. So what I'm gonna try and do is just pull my brakes a little, just to slow things down before a tech section, get the right gear, get my seat post slammed, and cruise through those tech bits. Now, another way you can use your brakes on climbing is on steep stuff like this, where you've got a lot of grip from the back wheel. You might find the front wheel wants to lift. Now, this is time to be grabbing the back brake and pulling the front end of the bike down or just regulating that back brake just like you would do in a wheelie because if you get a big front wheel lift whilst climbing you're going to find that bike's going to flip out and it could see you back to where you started pretty swiftly. So there you go I really hope you've enjoyed today's video all about using your brakes to climb uphill. Now it'd be really interesting to see how you use your brakes to climb uphill or any hills you've conquered drop us in the comments box below any tips or if you've got any videos use the upload service and you might get featured on the show but if you want to stick around and check out more climbs from us here on EMBN. Check out The Rock, that one's over here. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop some comments in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe to EMBN and whilst you're there, click the bell to receive a notification every time we upload. Cheers.